Um, but I would say do your projects on something that you really love and that you're passionate about. Not, don't try to pick your project based on what you think is going to win. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Thank you so much for your time. I love the documentary. Now, what was about science fair that that's so important for the, the kids, for the teachers, for the community? I think that it springboards the kids um, into the, the scientific arena. I also think it brings them some confidence and it shows them if they have a great idea that they're not only responsible to work the idea out but to also sell their product. And um, I honestly think it brings prestige to the schools. It um, makes everybody pretty uh, interested in science, which is great. So, so many benefits. Yeah. So many benefits. And for you? I, I totally agree. And uh, for me personally, uh, it really helped uh, enable me to do some of the work that I'm doing right now. I'm working in a research lab, so a lot of the work that we do is more like projects instead of, you know, studying for tests and stuff like that. So, so it, it really, you know, helped me sort of become familiar with that type of work. And it also is a really great opportunity to work on, you know, fun projects that, that I really love and then to, to get recognition for those. Yeah, so. uh, on the on the end of the documentary, you were still like uh, just doing one class at at the college. Yeah, you still happen that do you still doing just that? So or so, did so right, you... well, well, right now I'm TAing. So so I'm TAing and guest lecturing at, at Stanford, and I'm working in a research lab there. But I'm not I'm not going to school. Okay. Um, they they didn't let me in. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that. I can I cannot <laughs> believe there, it, right? You can't get accepted to go there. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And 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 for you, when we start, have you ever thought that you're gonna be like coaching students on us to to go to a science fair or this level of? Because those kids are amazing. Like, do they, have you ever thought about that? Yeah, that, that was my intentions when I was, I came to Jericho because I saw it was a phenomenal school, but they weren't doing as well in the science competitions as I thought they should be doing. So I went there when I applied, I told them, I'm here to put you guys on the map. My goal was to make sure that these bright students with phenomenal parents were successful in all of the science fairs. So. That was my intention. <laughs> yeah, and do do you, do you have how was the challenge to put those in the beginning to put them on the map? <laughs> okay, I think a lot of people were shocked by my assertiveness and you know, how direct I was about them not achieving their goals. But I think the parents loved it. I know initially I got a lot of kickback when I first started at Jericho, everybody was like, you're just too rough on the kids, they're not gonna be able to handle this, this is too much. But I, I always believe that if you push students to do well, you'll see where their breaking point is. If you just sit back and let them not do anything, you'll never know how good they can be. So I, I definitely do challenge my students, but I pay attention also. When I see that they're getting close to a point where this is too much, I pull back. You know, it's not constant push, push, push. It's getting to know the young adult and then working them to their excellent level. Yeah, and I think it's very important for them to know that they have the support. It's not just the parents, I think the teachers too. I think if you work together, you can, we can do amazing stuff. Right. And do you have like an advice or any, any advice to give to, to any of the kids that want to get to the science fair, to the international science fair? Um, I, I would say, I mean, if you're doing science fair, you know, obviously do science fair. Um, but I would say do your projects on something that you really love and that you're passionate about. Not, don't try to pick your project based on what you think is going to win. Um, like I know that there are a bunch of, you know, very sort of stereotypical projects that you see a lot of at ISEF. Like there are always projects about like curing cancer or something like that. So, I mean, that's not a bad project, but unless you're like really into that, don't, don't try to choose your project based on what you think the judges want to hear. Just do what you love and, and that's, you know, that's how you'll be able to work on it more, more often. You'll have a great project that way. And what do you think that people are going to take away from, from this documentary? I think that the people who watch this document, documentary will be inspired. This movie is about inspiring us to follow our passions, to support kids, to see what great mentorship looks like 
and to also let the kids who don't have all of the resources maybe my students have that if you really want something in this life to go after it and you can and will succeed at it that's awesome thank you so much for your thank time you. guys thank you. congratulations